Hi, I'm in the Old Testament today, Psalm 139, 23, 24. Search me and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And if there be any wicked way in me, lead me in the way everlasting. If you want someone more in your life than me or someone else around you that's going to prove to you that God exists, well, you are on the wrong track all alone because no one is going to be able to prove to you the existence of God Almighty himself in this lifetime, in your lifetime, or anyone else's lifetime from this moment forward. And I'm telling you right now that no matter what, my heart has been with God Jesus for some time now, all the way up until I'm this age right now, this very moment, and all the way until I'm no longer on this planet, I will be home in heaven with my God and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm not telling you to say to yourself right now to try and believe something you don't really know or, or believe exists. Well, we can't tell you and prove to you that God, Jesus, exists as himself, who was God himself in the flesh, who did die on the cross for the world's sins and was risen from the dead on the third day. If you want more information from me than that, then you are going to have to go into the Bible, into the New Testament, and compare those scriptures with other scriptures that prove that he was God himself in the flesh. No one knows that truth and that noble moment and that moment in time when he passed away, when he died on that cross for the world's sins. I want everyone to know and believe that Jesus Christ is the only true living God, Savior, and Creator alone, because he is. But at the same time, so many on this world right now doubt that Jesus Christ is God all alone, all by himself, even though he is in the separate presence of who he was when he was here on this earth as a man in the flesh, but God in spirit, God Jehovah, the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit was with God Jesus, but yet they were still waiting on him home in heaven. Now that's a hard one to take in, but at the same time, I hear all of these stories about alien beings who are going to come down here and preserve this world and save us, save us from death and world war and destroying all of earth and mankind all at the same time. Now if mankind can believe that garbage, then you can believe the one and only way to heaven, the truth, the life, and the way is only through God Jesus, because that is absolute faith and trust in God Jesus in your heart to know and believe truthfully, truly, that he is God alone. That other stuff about the alien, that is garbage. But God's word, that's holy. That's holy infinity for me and for you. From this moment forward, we can be saved by God Jesus all by himself. No one else has told me that Jesus Christ is God, Savior, and Creator alone with God Jehovah and God, the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. Only God himself has taught me that. And that was fairly recently to put them all together like that. I knew that they were God, but I have never mentioned that to myself or said that to myself in that way, that Jesus Christ is God with God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, as one God alone, yet man, yet God in spirit, and the holiness of who they all are, the spirit, of all, of all who they are as one God alone, infinitely. They are living God, deity alone, infinitely. Make no meaning in your life about anything else or anyone else being in a God-like formation. To trust in them is to trust in an object or a man on this planet from this moment past that used to exist and created something that people still believe in or they create it along the way until God's return. The only one you need to know, you already know, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And yes, he was God himself in the flesh. He died on the cross for the world's sins and he was risen on the third day. To be in belief and in faith of that is called practically, almost, sincerely, sensationally, wonderful and awesome because it's eternal life. For all who believe Jesus Christ is living God, Savior, and Creator alone, all alone. No one else has ever existed in the presence as a godlike figure. No thing, no person, nothing has ever existed, has ever come forth and proved 
to themselves that they already know who they are here on this world as living God, Savior, and Creator alone, all by Himself, but Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, who is God alone with God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. That makes one living God deity alone sensationally, awesomely real to me and to many from this moment past and all the way up to the return of God Jesus. Where will you be during that time when you find your faith in something or someone sensationally, absolutely in your thought process, th thought process thinking that you have found that one way to an opportunity of happiness and peacefulness for whatever time span you have left in your life here on this world, well, good luck with that. Because if it does not involve Jesus Christ, our God, Savior, and Creator alone, and yours too, you will never have that peace. You will never have that everlasting life unless God, our God Jesus says to you someday on His return, very quickly, in the twinkling of an eye, that He has chosen you to be in heaven with Him eternally anyway, it's God's existence within himself to be God all alone. And he is our judge all alone. I am not here telling you something, anything different from the Bible. It's all to be read and known and worshipped and revered and to share with people around you and many around this world. The best that we can do when we are here on this world with God Jesus in our life, in our heart, and in the way he wants us to think about who he is as living God, Savior, Creator alone. And yes, God Jehovah and God the holiness of who they all are is still with us this very day. Not in person, not in the flesh, but through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. They are sensationally with us, every single one of us on this planet right now. Now, if you think I'm wrong on that, think again. With God Jesus, all things are possible. Matthew 19:26. I want you to know that something in my heart, in my faith, believes that everything I have taught from this moment past, online here in sermons, on blogs, and in writing, and in sermons right now, and sermons from now, in the future, I know without a doubt that every single one of them have truth in them. And prophecy has popped up, not much, but some. The basics of God's heart is with me, just like He is with all on this world right now, every single one of us. If you want more from me, then find me and I will give you the truth exactly the way I've given it to you right now on YouTube, on my sermon site. If it's not enough for you to find out who God truly is with you in your life, then go into the Bible. Pray and ask him into your heart. Confess your sins. Confess him as living God, Savior and Creator alone with God Jehovah and God the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit as one God alone, yet three separate in the presence as one living God alone infinitely. That means they exist before you and I were ever created. I'm not here to juggle anything in my time frame about who I am as a person. I live my life, I move on, and I have fun with my God Jesus in my life. How do I do this? I love my God Jesus. I confess him daily. I say his name daily as God Jesus. I praise him daily as much as I can. And I pray for all around me and around this world on a daily basis. Now, is that a far out, extinctive way of me saying that I'm going to be out there not doing much, but a lot at the same time? I don't know. I can do all things through Jesus Christ, who is living God's Savior and Creator alone. And not only that, he has redeemed me. I have ex eternal life in heaven with God Jesus himself and God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit who is with me now and will always be with me and you too if you choose to serve the right, true and only living God, Savior and Creator alone and his name is Jesus. Yes, he is and was God himself in the flesh. He had to be to die on the cross for the world's sins. Don't make a favorment in your heart about anyone on this planet just God Jesus. He did it all. He didn't ask me or you or anyone on this planet for permission to do anything or anyone that he could ask to create anything on this world. He did it all himself from heaven. From that great throne, he created everything in heaven, on earth, and all around. Don't be a liar to your heart and your mind. Let your thoughts think the right things. In the truthfulness 
about who Jesus Christ is as living God's Savior and Creator alone. Love your life. Love your heart. Know that you can do the best you can in your life with your world right now with you on this planet. Being who you are with God Jesus first and then expanding out from there. Knowing that Jesus Christ, God, is still with you no matter who you are with, where you go, what you are doing. Praise Him for that. Thank Him for that. Appreciate who He is for what He has done in your life for you. Spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. And yes, there has been trauma in my life, my world, I call it. But at the same time, not so much. I couldn't come back and say, thank you, God Jesus, for helping me to get back on the path that you want me to be with. Your path of righteous value and knowing who you are as living God, Savior, Creator alone. And your name is Jesus. God bless and remember Psalm 139, 23, 24. Search me and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And if there be any wicked way in me, lead me in the way everlasting. I pray that prayer almost on a daily basis because I know sin is in this world. If you want to know more about God, Jesus, spend time with another person around you that knows who he is as living God's Savior and Creator alone. And don't doubt that. And if they say it that way, that Jesus Christ is and was God himself in the flesh who died on the cross for the world's sins, that makes him equal in godliness with God, Jehovah. And yes, the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, who is recognized only as a spirit, but not as God. But he is truthfully God also with us all right now. The holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, is God with them too. God bless and have a great day.